This is Commander Low 200. I'm in the Utopia system where Kepler's orbital has just been bombed by the NMLA. And um, we'll be listening to Gallic news more about to learn more about it. Terrorist bombing at Federal Starport. Pilots Federation alert. Multiple explosions have struck Kepler orbital in the Atropos system, causing huge damage and loss of life. Witnesses have observed signs of corrosion damage to the starport. This is characteristic of an explosive designed by the engineer Liz Ryder that deploys Thargoid caustic enzymes, and which was used in the bombings of Imperial starports in September. The NMLA has claimed responsibility for the attack. Its propaganda channels praised the Nine Martyrs, a reference to the terrorist suspects recently arrested by the Federal Security Service. There were also warnings of further reprisals if the Federation impedes our cause. The FSS has since confirmed that the captive NMLA members were being held in secure facilities at Kepler Orbital, which have been completely destroyed by the blasts. It is assumed that they were specifically targeted to prevent the prisoners revealing information about the paramilitary group under interrogation. Federal authorities are urgently requesting support from the galactic community to assist with repair efforts and to rescue survivors still trapped at the damaged station. This is the first time that these terrorists have attacked Federation territory. And even though the Federation has been given the Marlins, um refugee, status there's a lot of politics being involved especially with the between the president and the former president of the federation and now the empire is demanding that the marvelous be turned over to them but there's a lot of tension there was just a border conflict this not too long ago in which the federation repelled the empire now we're heading towards the station to help rescue the Federation people that have just been attacked. And this is also a good way to make Federation rank and make some money in new friends. Now here's the station, Kepler. As you can tell, uh, there's already fires, damage. And also, the, I guess the terrorists decided to kill their own people so they wouldn't talk. And we'll do a fly over here, expect the damage, and there'll be a lot of green stuff you see there. Those are the enzymes that they, it was part of the bomb that they used from the Thargoid device that this Ryder had, was given the terrorists. And we fought a, a war, a little skirmish over that, which Liz Ryder won. Look at the damage here. See the smoke coming from the from where the bombs blew up the station. Now this is a smaller station than the previous ones they blew up. And we'll go inside now and rescue some people. Now there's a lot of pilots who came here to help out Kepler Station and rescue the civilians of the Federation. But I'm pretty sure parking is not going to be a problem here. Now we just have to line up to the slot and carefully go in. As you can tell, there's the enzy green enzymes for the bomb. Those are Thorgoid enzymes. Another ship coming in, leaving. Now we just line up to the side and come and go in. Be careful not to hit anyone. Attention all pilots. Emergency response vessels will be 
Now we have to be careful of the debris here, which come in for a manual landing. And explosions, and tell them, uh, fires going on. Warning, temperature critical. Now here's our landing pad. Landing. Now we have to also watch out for a heat on our ship. It's very hot inside. Now this is the part where we start picking up the passengers. Let's take from a list of passengers. Usually I try to get them most passengers for the most amount of money. And helping out with the Federation rank as well. Now last time I did this for the Empire. These passengers are very impatient. And also sometimes they'll give out time bonuses. Hopefully we get some of those as well. Now we just have to pick up these passengers, get them loaded up, and get out of here. Yeah, the good thing about the Python is I can get a, quite a few passengers in, and also it's very, it's a medium-sized ship, so it's, you can, I can easily get in and out of the station pretty easily, without any problems. with this explosions is making it hard to sync up with the computer to get the passengers uh, pick up the passengers we have to go back and we're almost two more and we'll be out of out of this station with the with this load not that the Passengers are all on board. We'll launch ourselves out of here so we can get these passengers safely to the emergency rescue ship that's waiting for them. And we'll get paid. We'll get out. Make sure our landing gear's up. Got plenty of heat sinks to reduce the heat signature on our ship so our passengers don't get too hot. And we'll also don't damage the ship as well. Uh, just like before, we just have to do this carefully. Be careful of the debris and the explosions. Now we're out. And we'll select the ship that's waiting for us on the nav computer. Now it looks like there are some messages here. Yep. These, pay, these um, passengers are very impatient, so they're giving us some time bonuses. We just gotta make their in time to get these bonuses. Now, my only fear is that there's a lot of ships around helping out rescuing the Federation. 
people. And we'll see if we get a landing spot pretty fast. It's not that far, about five like seconds away. And we're on our way. Oh, just a little advice if you've never done this before, all you need is Ecom passenger seats, you don't need business or, or first class, you just need Ecom. So just remind yourself of that. And just any type of ship that can carry passengers will work. Now I'm using my Python for this. Now here's the emergency rescue ship here. And we'll try to land. And we're benign because there's a lot of ships here. No landing pan, this is kind of embarrassing. It doesn't look like we're gonna get that time bonus after all. And we'll just have to sit here and wait. I guess there's a lot of people that want to help out the Federation people and also help with themselves get ranked up. Hopefully we'll get a landing pad here soon. After several minutes of waiting around, we finally, I think we're finally going to get a permission to land here. There's not that many landing pads on this ship apparently. And we lost out on that time bonus, but that's alright. Ship taken off. It looks like from a medium sized landing pad where we need to land. We just have to wait for them, then we'll go our way. Looks like we got permission finally. Yay! Once we land, we'll disembark all the passengers and collect our rewards. And that'll be shortly here. Perfect. Landing by the computer. Need some fuel repair. On the mission board and disembark our passengers here, which will take a couple minutes. That was disembarking procedures here. Which is not bad. <laughs> not bad. Now we'll now the passengers will disembark, collect our rewards. Now it's for me, rescuing people either from the Empire or the Federation, it's not a big deal. Some people don't like the Federation, some people don't like the Empire. Me, I kind of stay neutral, unless one of the fractions, well the major fractions, and start invading each other for no apparent reason, then I will pick sides. But if a station gets blown up or damaged, I will rescue their citizens, whether or not the Federation or Empire or Alliance. As I think it's good PR for the Dark Will. And it helps me out as well. Make some money and rank up. And we're almost done disembarking the passengers here. Then we'll be on our way. Now that the passengers are disembarked here, I'm going to head out and rescue some more citizens of the Federation.
There's still plenty of citizens to be rescued at the Kepler Obro. So if you decide to help out, you still can. And also help you get that Federation grind taken care of pretty fast. Now this is Commander Low 200 signing off.